What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, The Savage Family. As you see, we have uh, Mr. West Coast Graffiti, the channel of the West Coast Graffiti over here. Is it West Coast Graffiti or The West Coast Graffiti? It's just West Coast Graffiti. Okay, West Coast Graffiti. Um, man, dude, you cover a, a wide variety, a big range of different topics. Uh, very proud of you for what you're doing with the whole workout thing, man. I see you every day on the feed. You'll be at a beach one day. You'll be in an alley one day. You'll be on top <laughs> of a skyscraper the next day doing burpees. But uh, um, so yeah, guys, I got him on the channel. Be sure to smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that bell notification. Also, go, go, go check his channel out, man. You guys will not regret it. Subscribe to his channel. Drop a comment. He engages his audience more than a lot of people that I've seen. So that's another good thing about him, man, because he will, if, he, if, if, if you can find the time to write him a comment, I'm sure he'll find the time to write you back. You know, uh, he'll take ideas in the video. I've been watching you for a minute, man. You've been on the scene for, oh uh, man. Well, you actually you've been on the scene a lot longer than I have, I think. Yeah, yeah. I've been I've been a YouTuber for I want to say about eight years. Yeah, man. Um, and it's a trip because this whole prison community of prison channels, uh, myself being linked to this whole algorithm, right? Um, somehow you got thrown in there, and I want to say maybe possibly that's because you were covering a lot of. Uh, you came out covering and reacting to a lot of things that we were doing. So maybe that's what threw you in the recommendations and in those algorithms. So I think like, uh, and then you got tattoos on you too. So I think people who don't know any better are probably just linking you right up with that saying, Hey, he's just a different type of prison channel. So are you a prison channel or what is your channel? Okay. So initially, um, I started covering reactions to our uh, prison channels. So that's what got me in the algorithm for the prison channels. But no, I'm not a prison channel. Um, I'm more of a, they consider me a Latino street culture channel. And do you like that? You like that, uh, that, that category or do you see yourself as something different than that? Well, you know, I kind of broke out of the prison channel because um, a lot of people were telling me a lot of negative things that uh, I shouldn't be speaking on it because uh, I've never been in prison. And it, it makes sense, you know, but I also address the situation where it's something interesting to me because the, the furthest I went was to county. I only hit county and, um, you know, I didn't go past that. But it was interesting for me to hear all these stories uh, from not just my family members, but from other people, you know. And it's, it's just crazy how it is in there. No, and the thing is, like, it, look, man, first of all, I'm going to tell you, going to the county jail is nothing to sleep on, man. It, the whole experience of getting arrested, doing time at, of any capacity, it's, it's a traumatizing experience, man. It's not nothing anyone should sleep on. As far as people saying what you should and you shouldn't be speaking on, I guess that's up to your own discretion. But I've always got a kick out of your videos, even when you covered a reaction to me and some <laughs> other clown going at it. You know what I mean? I, I didn't really trip on that. You know, it was, it was more, um, I could see that, hey, look, if I'm going to, if I'm going to, if I'm going to act the ass on camera, right? If, I, if I'm going to, you know, beef on camera, beef on YouTube, you know, What's to be expected? You know what I'm saying? So I never was one of those guys. I see where you're coming from. But, man, I really like your channel, man. I really like your channel for the simple fact, look, the negativity, is, it's off-putting of, of that whole genre. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of people, they can do that, man. They can go back and forth and have that negativity brought to them, put that negativity out. But the things that I see of you, man, is like you're one of the channels that has what's called longevity, right? So yours is going to – these, some of these guys are like shooting stars, man. They come, boom, they burn bright, and then they die out just as fast as they burn bright. So for you, you have longevity because you're versatile, man. I've seen all kind. I think I've even seen you go to some kind of like YouTube con or, or maybe Comic Con or something like that. I know, I know you like to go to one of those places or whatever. But uh, man, like you have a, um, a diverse uh, set of skills. So what I wanted to ask you is what direction do you plan on taking your channel now? Because everyone that goes to your channel and goes and clicks West Coast Graffiti is going to see the burpee challenge, the 30-day burpee challenge. It's 30 days, right? Yeah, 30 days. Okay, so everyone's going to see the 30-day burpee challenge. Um, what's after that? What comes after that, bro? So after that, what I want to do, is I want to go back to my roots, which is uh, filming locations for, you know, Blood In, Blood Out, American Me, all these right. movies. Um, I also want to do uh, food reviews, and I also want to encourage people to work out. So I'm going to be doing workout videos every uh, so often. Uh, I know there is a lot already out there, but you know what? To be honest, this burpee challenge, 
got me motivated, man, and got a lot of people motivated because I'm I'm a fat ass. I'm gonna be honest, man. I was two hundred and like ten pounds. I'm two hundred and one now. That's right. So, Good job. Good job, bro. Good job. So um, my, no, my I'll, I'll say this much, bro. I'll say this. Yeah. Much. Regardless, if there's a lot of people that got these crazy physiques, super buff, whatever, there's nothing better than a transformation ever ever bro like that transformation if you stick to that you get that transformation bro that that makes viewers and subscribers want to believe in you because they see that they can believe in your message so much respect bro but sorry to cut you off go ahead yeah yeah so um that's another thing man another thing is um people are actually getting encouraged to work out and that's that's awesome man because uh, like you said i'm i'm look i'm not <laughs> i'm not you know buffed or nothing but it's making me feel better. And so my channel, I want to take it to the streets. I don't know if you've seen my reports, but I did uh, reports on um, small communities that have been affected uh, with the coronavirus. Yeah. And all these news, uh, big newscasts only cover Beverly Hills and all that. And I want to cover the small, you know, businesses that get affected. So I want to be like a small ghetto. I got, I call myself the ghetto news reporter. Yeah, you know I mean? that's right. So I wanna cover, yeah, I want to cover situations that affects us in the in the latino community yeah that's right and we need more of that i'm gonna be honest we, we need more of that out there um i think there's so much focus on everyone else right now but us um and and that's not to hate on nobody you know everyone needs everyone needs their certain amount of recognition to a certain amount of issues that they're faced with and plagued with amongst their community but uh much respect because we actually happen to really need um latino advocates you know people who are getting out there and doing the damn thing. Let me ask you. So I'm sure you noticed, you know, I, I pull Brittany, I pull, you know, sometimes I have my son on my channel, like a, like a family channel. You know, I got the family videos popping up. Uh, will we see anything like that coming from you? Cause I know you're a family man too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So congratulations on your son. I believe he's what, eight months now? Nine. Thank you, bro. Thank nine, you. nine months. Yeah. 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 So you're blessed homie to have a family. You know what? And, um, I've con congratulated you before. So, being a family man, I am taking my family out um, hiking, and I want to do more things with them. Unfortunately, yeah. my wife doesn't want to come out on camera, but that's okay, because um, these videos, uh, family-related videos, is uh, is going to inspire a lot of people to go out and do things, like yourself, you know? I mean, yeah. vlogging with your family, I think that's the number one thing, because you interact all day with them. Yeah, and it's not easy. Like, a lot of people are not like me and you, right? A lot of people... That's understandable that that your wife would not want to come out on camera because it takes a lot, bro, to put yourself out there, live your life, especially with so many people that are so judgmental, so um, so quick to just because they're yeah. trolls, you know. So you know, it's totally understandable. I was just curious because, man, I, I guarantee you those videos would be fun to watch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It would be pretty fun to watch. You know what I mean? But uh, um, yeah, man, I want to say that like no matter what, like uh. Wherever you're at in your channel, bro, like, I really believe that you're, you got success coming your way, man. Like, my channel, I would love to say I made it, right? But I'm learning new things about YouTube daily, bro. Like, when you think you made it, you still haven't quite made it. You and see, see and that's the thing. Uh, I learned a lot from you, too, because, I mean, like you said, there's going to be a lot of videos that we, as content creators, put, put out there. And they're going to be hit and miss, you know what I mean? Not everything's going to be liked or watched. But um, like you said, for the most part, there's going to be that one video that people gravitate to, like, oh, you know, he's with his family doing this. Or like me, I call myself West Coast Graffiti. A lot of people ask me, why West Coast Graffiti if I don't show a lot of uh, graffiti? Well, yeah. I came from a graffiti background. I was a tagger in the 90s. So that's why I call myself that. I I'm still going to be putting graffiti art out there, you know. So there's a lot of things yeah, to I'm cover. I think, dude, I think you got some right there, too. I've always wondered. I kind of always had a feeling that you were, um, you know, graphing or whatever around that time, you know. Um, it would be pretty dope to see some of your art, man, to, to have you put some of your art up. Um, I know you probably don't, I know you probably don't be wanting to yeah. run, run around spray painting on things, you know, but uh, it would be pretty cool, man. Did you catch that? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. See, a lot of people want to see me do my, my graffiti. But uh, to be honest with you, uh, that's one of the reasons why I got locked up a few times uh, when I was a teenager. Exactly. And, you know, I, I don't really want to go through that. There is legal places to do it. So I might end up doing it legally. Yeah. Uh, now that I found some places, you know, because I do want people to understand that um, I love, that's my passion. 
uh, tagging is my passion. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so, so let me ask you. So eventually to everyone who's subscribing to your channel, to everyone who clicks on West coast graffiti, what can they expect from you in the next 30 days content wise? In the next 30 days, I will be doing a lot of graffiti. Um, a lot of graffiti artists have hit me up, so I'm going to be recording them doing it. Um, I will be doing more hiking videos because it is pretty hot out here. and People want to see that. They've asked me for that. So, you know, you, you got you to gotta go with your subscribers, whatever they ask for, you know. Are we going to be seeing you hit the streets on some, on some controversial issues anytime soon? Or are you going to be hitting more protests? I know you've been all over these ICE uh, protests, and you've been all over all these things. So... Are we expecting to see you uh, hitting the streets anytime soon? Is there any protests lined up or anything like that? There is one uh, this uh, Thursday coming up. I do work, so I, I might get there a little late. But, yeah, you know, I'm always supporting the cause. I love to support the cause, the movement, um, and just be a voice for the community, like I said, you know. And, and you know what? I, I wish I was there when you came out last time, man. It was dope. It was dope. That was nuts, right? It was dope. Hey. So let me ask you, um, um, damn, what was it? I was gonna tell you. So the chat, the, the content that you have coming out as far as uh, the the hiking and the exercise and stuff like that. How often do you upload, bro? Like, how how often are you putting out a video? Because I know you work and I know you have the family, so it's important, you know, people understand what kind of uh, YouTuber you are. How often do you put out content? Well, I try my best to put out at least four videos a week. Okay. Like, um, as far as me editing and recording. So yeah, four videos a week is, is probably my max because like you said, I do work and I'm out there, you know, I have to spend time with the family and the wife. Of course. You know? And this so, stuff, yeah, this stuff I, I is time consuming. Yeah, it's, it's very time consuming. And you know what? Sometimes my girl gets mad, but. It Mine is too. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> So I was like, why don't you go open up your own channel then? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, why she does have one, right? Yeah, she's doing hers is doing good. She's about yeah. 300, uh, she's about three hundred watch time hours away from becoming monetized herself. That's right, but, that's right. Yeah, man, it's a family affair over here. But man, I want to say thank you for coming on the channel, dude. If there's any type of message that you have to any of the viewers who are watching this about you, about your 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 content, if there's any misconceptions that people may have had about you. I've always thought you were a, a really cool guy right across the board. If you didn't have knowledge on something, you actually would take the time, write an email, ask a question and say, hey, this person's rubbed the wrong way. Was I wrong? Did I do something wrong? You've always been a cool person in my eyes, an even better YouTuber, man. I gotta say, man, you, you one of the channels I really like, I really am rooting for you. It's just gonna be one story, bro, like it was mine. I went from 30 something thousand subscribers to However many I'm at now, uh, you yeah. had the Gabriel Fernandez stories. That that shit took off. I mean, you had two million views. Never anticipated that video doing that though. <laughs> I the the true story to why I did that. I literally, I remember my mom was watching the Netflix on it. Right, I had saw something on it a while a while ago on YouTube, a video about it, and I was like, oh, that's disgusting, and just kept scrolling. Right. I don't like things like that, especially I got the son. I got my son. Yeah. So I come in and, you know, my mom's watching it and they're watching it and they're like, hey, man, you should talk about this. So I start watching a, a few minutes of the Netflix with them. I couldn't do it. I said, I'm good. But something about it, man, later that night, I ended up watching it with my girl and we're watching it and it had me in tears, my boy. Like it really had, it hit me hard. So I was like, I was like, that's it. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to start off with covering that, you know, and it, Man, to be honest, I, I can't remember who told me about Isabel, which was the one who, the, the video that did 2 million views. I can't remember who told me about her. Someone got a hold of me. She ended up messaging me going all crazy loca on my ass, right? <laughs> hey, she started going loca on my ass, talking about I'm not a liar, la, 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 la. I was like, calm down, kick back. You know, it ain't like that, whatever. So we talked it out. She agreed to uh, do that. And you know what, for me, Hey, listen, man, it's just like, it's a story that I brought closure to, it, but it took off. You're, you're one video away, my boy, one, one thing away, and it's going to be the same thing. You ask thank the right, you, thank you. yeah, you ask the right questions, you let the person speak, you, you know, you're thorough with your questions, you're not all over the place, you got it, you know what I'm saying? So just a matter of time for you, man, I'm telling you. 
Thank you, man. And and I really appreciate that, man. And I do appreciate you answering me back. You know, I do. I have had questions and you have answered them. And you were actually one of the only ones that told me about Zoom. I've asked so many people, how do I do this? How do I do that? And you said, my boy is Zoom. Download it. Get it popping. Yeah. Bro, listen. At the end of the day, I will be coming to your channel for the next interview, the part two of this. And uh, you can turn the questions more on me if you want, or we can just continue to chop it up. It's really nothing, you know, we get a lot accomplished by just talking because that's what happens when, you know, there's good chemistry. But uh, I will be making my appearance on your channel. I'm not sure when, that'll be up to you. But I just wanted to pull you on the channel, let all the subscribers know about you, man. Go sub to him, get over to his channel, you know what I mean? Check out his video, you'll love the content. Real thorough dude, answers back everything. I want to say thank you for coming on the channel. My boy, I really do appreciate you. I know you're busy, I know you got a lot on your schedule. Have you already done your burpees for today? Is the question. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna do it in uh, at two o'clock. So I got about an hour and a half, man. At two o'clock, bro. I might, just, I might just join you on that one. And one of these days, we might just have to meet up and do burpees together. Oh man, hey, I'm always down for that, homie. You know what I'm saying? It's it's collab. Fun. But uh, <laughs> that's right. But all right then, y'all. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Much love, much respect. Uh, every time you rock with me, smash that thumbs up. You already know how it goes. Thank you for coming on the channel, my boy. Thank you.